Coping with stress. Coping means to deal with problems or difficulties. Learning how to cope with stress is essential to ensuring that individuals maintain their physical and mental health. It is improbable to have a life completely free of stress. So, we must learn how to cope. Before going to the details, please remember to subscribe this channel if you are new here. Do watch other videos in this channel. Share it with students and those who love learning psychology. Thank you. Coping with stress. In this video, we will see the importance of stress management, various theories associated with coping with stress, and various strategies involved like the task-oriented coping, emotion-oriented coping, and the avoidance-oriented coping. Importance of stress management. Chronic stress can adversely affect an individual's well-being and lead to mental health disorders. Developing good coping strategies has multiple beneficial outcomes. It includes reducing the negative impact of stress, improving an individual's overall quality of life by enhancing resilience, then improving their social support network, allowing them to seek help and support from friends and family during the stressful times. Theories. There are several theories and framework that explain how individuals cope with stress. Let's see few prominent theories. Lazarus and Fogben's Transactional Model of Stress and Coping Coping is a cognitive and behavioral process through which individuals manage stress. It emphasizes the importance of cognitive appraisal where the individuals evaluate the significance of a stressor and their available resources to cope with it. Cognitive appraisal theory. Primary appraisal assesses whether a situation is perceived as threatening, challenging or benign. While the secondary appraisal, it evaluates the available coping resources. Social support theory. Individuals who have access to social support network such as friends, family, or support groups are better equipped to manage and cope with stress. Social support can provide emotional support, instrumental assistance, information and a sense of belonging which can buffer the negative effect of the stress. Coping styles theory. Coping style includes problem focused coping that is talking direct, taking direct action to address the stressor. Emotion focused coping that includes managing emotional responses to stress. Then avoidance coping that means trying to avoid or escape from the stressor. Then dual process model of coping with bereavement. Individuals alternate between the loss oriented coping that is focusing on grieving process and the emotional impact of the loss and restoration oriented coping that is engaging in activities that help adapt to the changes and rebuild life. So in this model it recognized that effective coping involves oscillating between the two processes the loss oriented coping and the restoration oriented coping. So these are certain theories about stress management that is how to cope with stress. Endler and Parker proposed a well known framework that categorizes coping strategies into three main types task oriented coping, emotion oriented coping and the avoidance oriented coping. These strategies are based on the individual's focus and approach to dealing with stress. Let's see each of these three in detail. First one, task 
oriented coping it is also known as problem focused coping it involves directly addressing the stressor and taking action to solve the problem or manage the situation causing stress it focuses on problem solving and actively seeking solutions this strategy includes efforts such as gathering information making plans seeking advice and applying practical solutions task oriented coping is effective when individuals have control over the stressor and believe that their action can lead to a solution for example if someone is feeling overwhelmed with a heavy workload they might use task oriented coping in which what they do they prioritize the task create a schedule break down the work into manageable steps and thus they cope with the stress associated with the heavy workload emotion oriented coping it is also known as emotion focused coping it involves regulating and managing the emotional response to the stress this aims to reduce or manage the emotional distress associated with the stressor rather than directly addressing the stressor itself emotion oriented coping includes techniques such as seeking emotional support expressing emotions practicing relaxation techniques engaging in hobbies and using positive self talk this strategy is useful when individuals perceive the stressor as uncontrollable or when they need emotional relief for example if someone is going through a difficult breakup they may use emotion oriented coping by talking to a close friend or engaging in self care activities or practicing mindfulness and relaxation exercise to reduce their emotional distress and the third is avoidance oriented coping it involves avoiding or distancing oneself from the stressor or emotions associated with it this strategy includes effort to minimize or escape from the stressor rather than directly confronting or addressing it avoidance oriented coping can manifest as denial avoidance of the reminder withdrawal or seeking distractions while this coping strategy may provide temporary relief it is generally considered less effective in long term because the stressor remains unresolved let's see an example if someone is anxious about giving a public presentation they might use avoidance oriented coping by finding excuses to skip the presentation or delegating the task to someone else thereby avoiding the anxiety provoking situation now let's have a quick recap on what we have learned in coping with stress we have learned the importance of stress management then various theories and strategies like the task oriented coping where the focus is on the stressor then emotion oriented coping here we will find a way to ventilate our feeling then avoidance oriented coping here we avoid the stressor effective coping often involve employing a flexible approach and choosing strategies that best fit the situation and individual needs so in the upcoming video we will see stress stress management techniques hope you like this video please share and subscribe thank you and keep smiling